different kind of political conversation. They have provided a social commentary for the United States for almost 30 years, covering presidents from Bush Sr. to Obama. They even predicted a President Trump, get this, 17 years ago. Well, now the Simpsons are marking his first 100 days in office in their own unique style. Take a look. I am not replacing him. Don't wrinkle the suit! A hundred days in office, so many accomplishments, lowered my golf handicap, my Twitter following increased by 700, and finally, we can shoot hibernating bears. My boys will love that. Sir, here's a new bill that you must read immediately. It lowers taxes for only Republicans. Can Fox News read it? Now watch what they say. Uh, no, you have to read it. The new Supreme Court Justice, Ivanka, takes Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat on the bench. You can buy Ivanka's robe with gavel earrings for only 1,000 rubles. You said you'd replace me with Garland! <laughs> Let's go live now to Los Angeles and speak to Al Jean. He's an executive producer and writer of The Simpsons. Al, great to have you on the program. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's, you know, you're pulling no punches there, let's face it. It's always easier to, to pick out the flaws in someone. But your reflections on his first 100 days in office, are you surprised at all, or have you changed your opinion? Well, you know, we tried to sum up his accomplishments, and it took us just one minute. So I think that's a <laughs> uh, pretty, you know, sure sign he hasn't done much. And uh, we're still hoping for the biggest award we can get, which is that he uh, tweets that we're sad. Still hasn't come. You might get that. Tomorrow is Saturday. It does tend to take to Twitter, and it's 100 days tomorrow, so you never know. No, you might actually begging. get that. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with that? We uh, thought about doing it about three weeks ago because we saw the 100 day milestone approaching. And uh, as you know, things happened, like Bill O'Reilly lost his job, uh, we started adding little details to it. And uh, you know, our biggest goal was just to get it out before anything became dated. Um, fortunately, uh, you know, the Trump presidency is so crazy, nothing, nothing is too far to go. Yeah, there's so much political comedy around at the moment, especially with all the late night shows, Saturday Night Live and the rest. Do you ever worry that you're going to run out of material? That's our last worry. <laughs> I mean, it's, things are so uh, insane in the world right now, uh, and um, good for comedy, bad for the world, and I'd rather it was the other way around. Al, we mentioned in the introduction to you that you predicted, I don't know if it was you personally, but The Simpsons predicted that Donald Trump would indeed become uh, President of the United States 17 years ago. I think we have the clip. Let's just take a listen. Take a look. You know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. The country is broke? How can that be? Well, remember when the last administration decided to invest in our nation's children? Big mistake. The Balanced Breakfast program just created a generation of ultra-strong super criminals. And Midnight Basketball taught them to function without sleep. Careful what you wish for there, I think, is the, the, the thing to take away from that. Um, has your opinion, though, of Donald Trump changed? at all. I mean, we've been reflecting all through the show so far this hour about 100 days gone, he's sort of grown into the role, it was unexpected for him as well. Is there any, are there any positives that you can take from the last 99 days, 100 days? Well, the two things that have changed for me is I would hope, I had hoped he would reach out to Democrats and try to have a, a more balanced administration since he lost the popular vote, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, and I, I think he's he's been less successful, you know, than even I thought he might be. I, I think you can't really be inexperienced and, and do a job like this. And even he said it's harder than he thought. So, um, you know, in seriousness, I, I am a little worried. I, I hope he learns soon. Yeah, I mean, he's not known to be sort of big on the, the, the detail. He says he's not a details man. Did you particularly focus on the sort of the lack of legislative success over the past 100 days when you were putting this sketch together? Well, uh, it was that, and also um, he, he really did sign a... Uh order uh, allowing people to shoot hibernating bears. I mean, you read these things and you go, is this true? And it was. Uh, and, you know, you don't even really have to write it. You just copy it down <laughs> and animate it. And what's, what's in the pipeline? Have you got more of these planned? Uh, we have a couple more ideas, and uh, I'm sure he will provide us with many more. As we say in the spot, it's, he's got 6.8% of his term over with. That's if it's one term. So <laughs> we've got a lot to go. 
It's always great to, to get your perspective uh, through the power of The Simpsons. Al Jean, thanks so much indeed for joining us on The World Right Now. Thank you.